Wow, check out this old coin that was recovered from Ground Zero, the World Trade Center on 9-11. I picked it up from Coins TV. They sell the best coins and collectibles. You guys got to go check them out in the link below. Just amazing, amazing piece of history here. The fact that this was at Ground Zero when that all took place and changed the world forever. I mean, it's just, they got some really, really cool stuff over there. Go check them out in the link below. I love this coin. Today, we're looking at some 1981 quarters that have sold for a lot more money than 25 cents. So first off, here is a major type of mint error. This coin has a die cap error. So uh, you can look for cap dies on all kinds of different coins, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and so on. However, this one's pretty major, and that's why this quarter ended up selling for $632 at auction. Next up is a very major type of mint error. So the coin has been double struck, a flip over double strike here, graded by PCGS, 1981D mint mark, Washington quarter that we are definitely not finding in coin rolls from the bank. But this quarter is from 1981, so I wanted to add it into this video. And this coin sold for over $3,100. Could you imagine paying $3,000 for 25 cents? But let's move on to an error that you know that you could actually look for from the bank. This coin here, it sold for $47 at auction. You'll see as we flip the coin over to the obverse that you can see the inner copper layer of the quarter, not the outer clad layer, because it's missing the clad layer on the obverse of the coin. That's why it weighs 4.73 grams. This coin sold for $47, graded by Annex. Here's a nice little off-center error on a 1981 quarter that sold for $83 at auction. So, you know, this hasn't been struck like 20 or 80% off center or anything like that, you know, like 5% off center. Um, so still 83 bucks, not bad for an ungraded coin like this. Um, but, you know, had this coin been, you know, 80% off center, you know, and in better condition, it could have sold for a lot more money. Now, here's an example of an off center where it was struck 15% off center. And this coin is authenticated by NGC and the quarter sold for $117. Now, here is a very rare mint error. This is where you really, really have to inspect your coins closely because you don't want to pass something like this up. This is where we have a 1981 Washington quarter design that was struck on to a 1981 Jefferson nickel. So it is a double denomination mint error that is graded by NGC here at a mint state 67. So it's in phenomenal condition as well. Look at this. As we zoom in on the coin, you can actually see the design, the lettering from the Jefferson nickel, along with the Washington quarter design, of course. You can see the outline of Jefferson's head there. I mean, it's just an amazing type of mint error. One of my favorites, one of my personal favorites, uh, a double denomination. So this coin sold for over $2,500. Now this next coin here is a very similar type of mint error. So this is where we have a 1981 Washington quarter design that was struck onto a Jefferson nickel blank planchet. So the last coin, the Jefferson nickel design was already struck onto the planchet and then the Washington quarter design was struck on top of that. In this case, the Jefferson nickel planchet was not struck with the nickel design. It was only struck with the quarter design, which makes it worth uh, you know, significantly less than the previous coin, but this quarter still sold for $312, so can't really beat that. Now here is another double denomination. So again, we have the quarter design struck onto a 1981 five cent coin, a Jefferson nickel from 1981. So again, you can see the lettering and the design from the Jefferson nickel along with the Washington quarter. This coin graded at an AU58 this time, a little bit lower grade than the previous Mint State 67 we looked at. And this coin still sold for $990. Unbelievable. That's a very rare mint error as a double denomination. So here is another very rare mint error. So this is where Washington quarter design was struck onto a Lincoln cent planchet, Lincoln penny planchet. So this coin ended up selling for $960 because of that mint error. And again, it is graded by NGC. So always, always inspect your coins when you're trying to spot mint errors uh, from coin rolls from the bank or wherever you get your coins, maybe you inherit a coin collection, you know, you never know what you may find. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out those videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.